Hey everyone, Billy here with Custom Mobile Conversions out of Fraser, Michigan. Going to do a walkthrough video of the mobile massage bus we just finished up for a client. And this could possibly give you some ideas of your own, or if you'd like a quote for something like this or any other mobile conversion, feel free to reach out on our website, custommobileconversions.com. Um, you can see some of our other bills. We do party bus, game buses, uh, mobile offices, pretty much anything on wheels in a bus or a trailer, we can do it. Uh, this particular bus we found for the client, it is a 2006 Chevy C5500 Eldorado body. Um, only has 39,000 original miles, has the 6'6 Duramax, and it is about 32 feet in length. So it's a pretty good sized bus. Does have a little rear luggage area where we put all the electronics and the water tank. Um, we'll get into that later. I'll show you what we did back there, but let's, let's go for it. Okay, so here's as you walk up into the bus. Simple divider curtain here just for privacy. Uh, we have a switch right here for the mood lights, 12 volt. So these lights, they can be changed uh, to many colors or many ways of altering. They go in and out of different colors or they can one color, whatever you choose. Um, there's also the brighter lights are on their own switch. Up on the dash here, we can turn them off. Uh, for during the massages, I, I'm assuming they'll just put these lights on maybe on one color or have them dim in a little slower than they are now just for a better mood um, but these lights are nice to see clean organize whatever you have to do so as you can see here there's the table it does have power lift and lower with these buttons I don't know if you can see it it is a little slow but it is moving right now um, we have that hooked up to this plug we put on the floor it's a 110 plug there's also, you can see a towel on the ground there. That's just, um, that's a heating towel that'll be used whenever it's needed. The floor here, it is on, we put a new subfloor under it and it is a one piece roll down floor. Um, here in Michigan, we've had better luck with this than any click together stuff because then winters can be harsh. Uh, you know, the, the, the click together tends to kind of loosen up and not look that good after a while. So we have this TV as well, there is local antenna hooked up to it, but it is a smart TV, so if they ever get a Wi-Fi hotspot or anything like that, they can run Netflix and stuff like that. We put this heater here. It's mostly for looks, but it actually does produce heat too if you want. Um, everything in here is running mostly off the inverter, so it probably wouldn't run everything at the same time. It's not really designed for that. They don't really need to do that. We've talked it over and that's just the way we decided to do it. If you wanted to run everything at once, like the microwave, these heaters all at once, you'd probably have to plug in or get a generator. So you see here, those are just some towel warmers that the client provided us, a couple other items. We have a two-way fridge here. So right now it's running on 12 volt. Again, anything to save power is always helpful on these mobile vehicles. There's a microwave and a couple empty spots for towels and things like that. So we do have a little divider door here, sliding door for the bathroom. Bathroom here has got its own switch for light. Little mirror, shiplap walls, got running water, just pump in the back. There's gonna be a waterless toilet here. Um, we ordered it about a month ago. There's a lot of products right now on back order, so we're just still waiting on that, but that's not a big deal. We just screw that to the floor when it gets here. See, we have another little waterfall thing, just a, you know, a nice little accent thing, kind of for looks. Um, and the chairs there for her to roll around and get the massages. All right, so here is the back door. It's where everything is inside of here. So as you can see, there's the inverter, 5,000 watt. We have, that's uh, what controls those mood lights. A couple fuses for the littler stuff, some bigger fuses. This one's uh, the inverter fuse, got the triangles. And then we have, that's your water pump. A couple switches for some of the 12 volt water pump in the fridge. And then we have an 18 gallon fresh water tank. So here's the fill up. You just open the door and put more water in when you need. We actually drain this one right outside because it's just hand water, so it just goes onto the ground. But, you know, not that much water will be used, so it tends to not be a big deal. It saves a lot of work and, and money. You see there, there's also some room left over 
you know, for a generator if needed, shelving, storage, you know, it could be used for anything. So that's it. Let's take a look at the outside of this bus. So here's the outside of the bus. See, it says Chevy C5500. Still see some of the old logo on the bus. You know, it's a 2006. It's almost impossible to get the old logos, you know, fading this away. Even buffing it out, you still see it. But this bus is getting a partial wrap from the window to the rail will be completely covered. So it actually eliminate a lot of what you can see there. Um, it's the Eldorado Aero Elite frame, all fiberglass, so it tends not to rust. Some of the other bodies uh, do not hold up. You'll get rust bad, but these really do tend to hold up. So that was the mobile massage bus. Remember, custommobileconversions.com, reach out. Uh, we can get you a quote on anything you want, help you with the design, find you a bus, do partial builds. We do it all. See you next time.